Hello, it's Chilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. So coming to you with another pour today as I do every single day um, and hopefully that will continue. So I thank you all so much for being with me and the support that you guys have given me and the lovely comments I've been getting recently and the views. I just so, so appreciate you. And I just wanted you to know, so thank you so much. This is a 60 by 30 canvas, and I have some sort of muted blues, greys, and golds mixed for my pores um, for the next. Well, I'm going to do quite a few pores hopefully today, being the zone. And um, but those are the colours I'm working with. I've just I don't know, I've got a feeling that I need to add a pop of red somewhere, but I'll just go with what I have at the moment. So these color, uh, all my colors were mixed up. The pouring medium is in the description box below. With the exception of, um, I added Dragonfly Glaze. It's Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze. And I just added a good squirt to every single color that I've got made up because what it does kind of gives it this holographic you know it gives it this gorgeous glistening in your paint and when you put it on you can kind of see your paint glistening um, and I've got a, a, this gorgeous metallic sapphire blue sapphire from folk art that I've mixed up and it's going in with some other colors but as I said that just makes every color seem to just glisten you know if you haven't got metallics that's a good way of adding the glistening the sort of nice metallic -y, um yeah effect in there so this was cerulean blue and i added a squirt of metallic silver and a good squirt of the dragonfly glaze so without further ado i will get on with this painting and show you what i've got in store for you today hopefully it's going to be quite minimalistic it's but uh, yeah i probably should not say a word i shouldn't say a word because it ends up being the opposite now this gray i made up myself out of white um metallic silver a blob of black a very tiny blob of black till i got it the gray that i wanted and then again i put a good squirt of that dragonfly glaze in so made up my own grey. So this is what I'm gonna do. Make sure I've got plenty. And I'm just gonna give it a quick scoot around the canvas. Oh that sapphire. Well no this was the cerulean blue this particular one. I'll show you the sapphire in a second or two. But this is the cerulean blue as I said just mixed as I mentioned, previous mention, I shouldn't go over and myself several times, should I? <laughs> um, but I, it's just catching the uh, overhead lights and it is just glistening away. It's just stunning when you just add that bit of bling in your paints, you know, to get that lovely sparkly effect, especially if you like sparkle. If you don't like sparkle, well, I don't know. But yeah, everybody's got a bit of sparkle in their life. And that is mine. That is just gorgeous. I'm not going to worry too much about my sides at this moment in time. I just wipe off my little spatula to now go over. Oh, look what she did. Oh, well, it was meant to be. <laughs> my grey. And even this is sparkling. So I hope to bring the camera down when i am completed this so you can try and catch the sparkle or I might have to wait till it's dry and take it outside into the sunlight to catch the sparkle. So yeah you don't have to be too meticulous with coating your paint this way so just do it just relax about this is the most you know calming sort of peaceful time for you if you're on your own and you haven't got a film or anything this is just a beautiful time to just chillax and um, yeah 
just spread your paint out it's part of the art therapy so there you go that's the cerulean side and the um, grey this is the other sapphire that I have but it's very close to that now so I'm not sure if I'm going to need or want to put it actually in there but anyway without further ado do do this is gold and again even though it's a gold metallic I still added a good squirt of that dragonfly glaze doesn't matter if you miss aim like I just did there <laughs> it's it's absolutely fine don't stress over paint it, it in the end it's only paint no worries at all okay this is the I think it was called the cyan blue c-y-a-n cyan cyan blue so it's a little bit darker but for those bluey, silvery lovers, you're going to love this. Add a bit of dark in there, absolutely. And we'll go with some white. Again, I still give this white a good squeeze of that. And you can see it shimmering in there. Shimmer, shiver me timbers. Now I am going to add, actually, this is the copper. Oh, let me find it. Metallic bronze, actually. Metallic bronze. So I'm putting metallic bronze in there. And give it another bit of a pop, I hope. Um, but the colour that I really want to make it pop is, this is my homemade, the Deep Berry Delicious. So I make this with, I have got videos on custom colour making, but I make this with the darkest red you have. But today I, I used magenta, a good squirt of phalo blue, and then a little blob of black if you want it to go even darker. So that's what I wanted in this particular one. I think that's just about it. The deliciousness is in there. In there. Okie doke. I'm not going to add any more. I am going to use my little straw to give the edges a blow. Oh my goodness, those colours. Beautiful. Oh. Trousers, flipping trousers, I tell you. Oh, that it just softens my edges. Just a thing that I've enjoyed doing. Um, yeah, it's been really, really nice. So I have a little bit of black that's been made up for donkey's years, and it was the black. It was the Amsterdam black made up with Floetrol. Obviously, I'd used it for selling, but I'm just going to see if this will work because it's been made up for I've just seen it there it's been made up for a very long time so I'm not sure if it's even going to work so I'll get just a little piece of the soft plastic file divider and I'll just see if I can get anything nice out of it doesn't uh, might sell I'm not sure yet Let's put some heat on there. So I'll use my heat gun. Wonder wand. It's 
Give it a... There is no silicon whatsoever in these um, colours. So it's the flow troll that's making the cells. These are just glistening because of that dragonfly glaze. Oh, this was navy, but it's looking a bit bleh. So I don't know whether I'll get anything nice out of that. But again, I shall throw it out after this time. I'll just have a little look if I can get anything nice. I'm just going to dip it in the... This is just the navy with flow troll. I just want to see if I can... Oh yes, that is gorgeous. Just add in some wispy bits. Just add in some. Oh yeah, lovely. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's always exciting. It's just. Oh, you'll see the close-ups of this. It is fantabulous. So that's just dipping my little bit of card. It was um, the this particular one was the Amsterdam paint, and and just mixed with Floetrol only. And it just oh, it just brings up oh my gosh oh I'm so sorry I know I get excited don't I. I'll, too much for some people but um sorry I do and it's my <laughs> my art room that's it I'm not gonna I shouldn't apologize for getting excited as so many of you keep telling me so thank you for that but I know I probably shouldn't do so many wisps but I'm enjoying it I like it I'm gonna go back the other way now holy dooly Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh, I could do this all day, really. Well, I do do it all day, <laughs> but I mean, just this, it's just so therapeutic to swipe, but I must bring you down to have a look. That is something special. That's really beautiful. I suppose I should just do... Oh, this is stunning. So I might just try and. It's as though I picked up some of the. Oh, just want to try and do something. Independent of it. That's gorgeous. That's lovely. So pretty. I like it. And that's all it's got to please, really, is yourself. Rightio. I might leave this to dry off because I want to balloon it in the centre. So don't judge me. <laughs> it's like telling um, Shelley uh, she can't do any more blooms or... You know, it's just what the particular artist's uh, forte are. They continue to do. And I love balloons, so there you go. Oh, actually, this is this is actually all right to... 
need my sides done but um, this is just a little balloon with a bit of water in it it just adds the bit of weight for you to push in if you find that your all your work is the paints just sinking in just take push it in take it out wipe it straight away and then go back over it but it is very good to just leave your work as well completely um, for about half an hour and then come back and swipe it and I'm oh, sorry swipe it uh, balloon kiss it all oh, that gold's coming up there love that love that and it's actually nice to um, yeah come back and do it then your paint won't fall in like this because it kind of dry, absorbs into the canvas and it um, you know levels out but also if you've already done a balloon kissing in it and then you come back when it's a little bit dried off and you do the smaller balloon in the center of your kisses that gives an awesome effect too gives a stunning effect you know this this lacing oh it's something special there you go the colors are just outstanding in this I do say so myself they are absolutely beautiful in this piece absolutely beautiful so I am going to just bring the camera down now and show you those lacing well here we go oh my goodness look at this look at this how special is that it is gorgeous very delicate so unlike me but just stunning you could do a whole painting with just these soft effects on like this you can do anything you choose but look at this that is gorgeous what's this oh I've got the reflection back but see the glistening in the paint I'm not sure if you're picking it up it's just glistening this is on the see the sapphire just add in that colour shift into your paint so you could really make any paint special like getting that effect in it by just adding a good squirt of that look at the shine in that purple well it's the berry delicious it is berry delicious shining I am super super happy with this it is just stunning and done on the diagonal just beautiful it's really lovely I'm happy I'm happy so thank you so much for joining me people you have been such an awesome awesome support don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I have a video out every day and I hope that you all get something from it even if it's just a joy watching but if it helps you create then so be it and wonderful Okay, say bye for now, bye for now. <laughs>